In this tutorial, we have created the heaviest ball puzzle as a VR experience, so far, we used a single fixed heavy ball, we will share with you how to add random function to the puzzle to ensure it will automatically assign the heavy mass to different ball each time we reload the experience making the puzzle more interesting. Before you get started with this tutorial, you need to have basic knowledge of the training builder, including, variables, get and set attribute and attribute node template. From the SimLab Academy in the bottom panel, select VR, then select Training Builder, then Random Function, select the Load Tutorial Scene icon then drag it to the 3D area. We will work on this scene in our tutorial, in case you want to load the final result scene, feel free to load it by dragging the final result icon into an empty scene. Now we will pick up from where we had left off, as you can see, manually increasing the mass for one ball, keeps the ball fixed in the same place each time we reload the experience, but this is not how puzzle works, so let us create a system that randomly increases the mass for one of the balls each time we reload the experience. Make all the balls have the same mass value of 10. As you can see, all balls has index attribute arranged from 1 to 9, we will use this attribute, while we are developing the random functionality. So what is the random function? The random function generates a random number between 0 and 1, once it's triggered by an event. Let us test it out. In the training builder, create a new variable then name it rand, and set its type to number. Now create a change variable value response. From the variables list, choose the rand variable that you just created. In the edit expression field, write random, open brackets then closed brackets, Create a node triggered event. Now choose the start plane to be a trigger object, then attach the node to the change variable node. To check and view the random value, go to VR Effect menu and choose Create Variable Writer. From the VR Variable tab, Choose RAND from the variable name list, then change the decimal point to 2. Select Show and Viewer from the SimLab VR menu to test out the results. As you can see, when you click the Start button, a random number will be generated. Try more click to see different random numbers. To implement the random function in our puzzle, we need to create random numbers from 1 to 9 representing the ball's index number, so we will modify the expression to limit the random numbers. First multiply random with 8, then use round expression to round the result to the nearest integer. Add 1 to the expression to avoid having 0 as a result, when random equals 0. Test the experience again in the viewer. 
So far, we have created random numbers from 1 to 9, each time we click the start button. This represents the index number of the ball that we will change its mass to 11. In the training builder, as you can see, this is the main template for puzzle that deals with ball objects with mass attribute. Go to the start diagram, then create a show and hide response. Choose the start button to be attached to the response, then change the task to hide. This will hide the button once you click start, it also keeps only one random number to be implemented. Go back to the main template diagram, then create a get attribute value response. From the attribute response, choose index. Then from the variable list, choose index v, this variable was created earlier. Now attach the node grab started execute channel to the node you just created, then attach the attribute template node to the scene node. Now create a branch node, then enter the expression rand equal index v. Attach the execute channel from the get attribute response you just created to the branch node. Create a change variable value response, then choose mass value from the list. In the expression field, enter the value 11, then attach the branch node to it. This will choose the ball with the index number that equals the randomly generated number, then set its new mass value to 11. Now run the SimLab VR viewer and play the puzzle.